This is rehearsal for Amazing Grace. I'm trying to make it super easy for us this time. Um, there are a couple of principles that we need to make sure that we uh, take care of. Number one, this is a choir, it's not a solo. So if you need to breathe between the phrases, take a breath in an illogical spot so that it carries through um, when everybody is there. Um, number two, we've got lots of crescendos and decrescendos. Follow those if you would, please. There's an eighth note in there for breathing between the phrases some of the time. And there are a few notes that are different than what we usually sing. And I will go over those, but they have an arrow to them on the scores so that you can just have something right at that minute to remind you that, yes, this is an issue of a note. So um, I'll just go over each part, easy peasy. Sopranos and altos begin. Would you make sure that you say sound D rather than sound da because D raises the pitch, da makes it lower. Let's do that again. Let you practice. One, two. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that sings. is a tricky note that saved a wretch like me. We don't usually sing this pitch. We usually sing a different one, which I am not going to play for you because I don't want to get it in your head. One, two. That saved a wretch like me. some altos that need to sing this tenor and bass part. If I can sing it, many of you can. Be careful. That's your tricky note. tenors and basses. I'm going to give you your cool in interlude.
as easy, wasn't it?